Hi, this is Babby with Royal Diamond Labradoodles, and I am brushing out a few pups today that are just starting to uh, molt. They're losing their puppy coat and getting their adult coat. And so I noticed this week they were having a lot more mats, the wide kind of flat mats that basically is where the puppy coat stays connected to the, the uh, new, the dog, the, their mature coat. Um, and it causes mats. But if you keep them brushed out, you just, it, uh, it's not really something to be concerned about. Here's a trick. So I used um, baby powder. I get it from Walmart, the Quake brand. I, li I happen to like the uh, lavender scent because it um, smells so good. And I was running low, so I just put a bunch of cornstarch in here and shook it up, and it still smells really yummy. I took him outside and I just lifted up the hair wherever I felt like maybe he had some mats and I just really heavily put it in there. You can see it here in his coat. I already brushed the top, so I did the one line on top, brushed that out and combed it and I have already brushed out and combed his under his ears. I did that in like less than 10 minutes um, with this baby powder. It's fabulous. I didn't do it on his brother before. I started brushing him and I was like wondering why this is crazy he's got so many mats oh my gosh this it almost eliminates any pulling it's just fabulous so I was just gonna show you another line weighted line brush and I'm gonna just start at the base of his his uh, shoulder right here and what you do is you just take a little bit of the hair and you just work your way up and just a little bit at a time you pull some of the coat into the brush and I'm using a long hard bristle brush and um, you don't have to the quicker you do it the better the less pulling there is if you just do real quick motions and I'm taking this line all the way up to the line that was on top of his back which I'm almost there you can tell by how the coat feels and then you just the way you test if you got down to the skin a lot of people will take a slick brush and go boop, boop, boop. Oh, yes, I brushed him out. No problem. I've been doing this every day. Then you take him to the groomer and deep down by the skin, the first inch is a solid mat. Because you have to test with a comb. First, I use the large bristles and then I go to the narrow bristles. Um, you just take the comb down through that section. This is the part that is stopping on is the part I didn't use hit the brush with. But... Um, there we go, to the skin. And uh, that, it's that easy with that baby powder. It's just fabulous because like you can tell where I'm hitting, those are mats. That's matted, I couldn't take a comb through that for my life. But if I wanna go ahead and hit this next section with the bristle brush, I just take this because the baby powder dries out those mats, takes any moisture out of them. So it allows you just to brush, them, brush through them really easily. See how quick that little second line was? I just take the comb, boom, to the skin. Baby powder, it's so oh, awesome. Cornstarch, not talc. We don't want them breathing in talc. You know, all the negatives about talc, I don't know all of them, but I know it's not, not good for you to breathe. Um, probably isn't great for you to breathe cornstarch either, but anyway, I took them outside and dusted them really good, just so that the majority of the dusting was out in the front yard instead of in my house because there's already a layer of, just from brushing, there's a good layer of it on the table. But um, like I'll be able to completely brush him out in the next 20 minutes, I'll have him done. So um, I wanted to show you too on the feet. Now the feet sometimes stay damper. I did put a bunch of cornstarch on there, so I'm gonna just see how quickly I can do the front of his leg and it's going fairly quick. I'm just going up in a line. Now, because it's, it's a narrower line, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the side on the inside. Good boy. And then I'm gonna hit, <laughs> are you gonna fall asleep on me? Uh, and then I'm gonna hit the outside. Now, if you're wanting to train your dog for a groomer, um, you don't want him to sit. You want him to stay standing when you're brushing. So I would just keep your hand underneath there and say stand. Oh, chunk of boy. Um, but when I'm at home, if I'm, if I, another way that I teach them, and I'm just going to take this comb real quick. Let's see. Let's see how this works. 
Yeah, so I have a couple little mats still on his actual feet, but for the most part, there's some right there. That's kind of more in the back. Yep, I was able to get completely through with the comb. Okay, so right here, we're just gonna, I'm gonna brush it back the opposite direction just so I can kind of see what I'm looking at here. And we're just getting, getting the hair that's kind of more like in between his, don't put your nose over there. Yeah, good boy. There we go. Yeah. And that's that leg. I need to do the back of his foot. I just got out any of those extra little, and this, I'm getting to the skin. I can feel that it's touching his skin and it's pulling through just so smoothly. So that was super quick if I had not put that in there. You guys saw how when I put the comb in his coat that's not been brushed, there's no way. I mean, it's just like a big solid, it's not like a solid mat, but it's, it's tangled. So I'm gonna just do the next line from his tummy up. I'm just gonna work our way all the way up to the middle of his back, which is where the first line was. Look at that. Look at that, buddy. And there we are. Can you say bye-bye? This is Missile. He is eight months old. Oh, you're such a good boy. And he is still available. So, <coughs> baby powder, not coronavirus. Um, oh my goodness. And he has been house trained, he's leash trained. He comes, he sits, he is crate trained. He is such a good boy. He would make a fabulous therapy dog or service dog. He's just got such a great disposition. He's very calm. This is him, he loves to cuddle. He'll lay at my feet for hours if I have him unleash. He, um, if, even if I don't, they love to come. All of them come and lay at my feet. And um, he's just he's just a sweetie pie. So good luck. If you have any questions, feel free to email me and like my page and subscribe. I look forward to talking to you again.